hello everyone this video is about pivot table as you know that the pivot table is one of the most asked question in interviews and it is very important and it is used in every office wherever you work um, with excel so you need to use a pivot table because uh, the pivot table um, just uh, save your time and uh, generate the reports that you know that in every organization or in company you need to generate a report for the manager a supervisor so the pivot table will help will help us to generate the report so the first of all let's uh, say that what is pivot table the pivot table is just a summarized table okay this is a common table that we have but the pivot table is a summarized table it will summarize our table it will generate report for us for example you have thousands of record and you would like to generate reports from that because the manager don't want to see all the records and it is very hard for him to just check all the records so he, the manager wants just to see the uh, report of that and just the um, uh, summarized table of your data okay so now we will come to the pivot table that how to create a pivot table first of all this is the data with the, uh, as okay even thing you should note that there should be no blank rows and blank columns in your data so this is the data with us click in your data or you can select your whole data after um, clicking in your data come to the insert table and this is the pivot table okay so from table range see this area has selected with us and now in the pivot table here we have two things the first one is the table range the table range has selected see this line around that and the second one is choose where you want to um, store your pivot table okay one is new work worksheet it will create a new worksheet and it will uh, just create your pivot table in a new sheet but if you want to create in this sheet so then just select this one okay after selecting this here location where you want to create this pivot table so i will select this area so after selecting this area press okay so our pivot table has created successfully So these are uh, our fields that we have, okay, ID, name, product, department, uh, quantity, and other fields that we have here, we have all those fields here in the, our pivot table. But uh, here we have four other things, so let's, so here, okay, these four things um, are the filter, columns, and rows, and values. So I will just explain it. The filter is that, okay, to just apply filtration, and that I will show you an example one by one. These are the columns, rows, and the values that you want to display. So let's first of all create a simple example. So for example, we want to just display the, um, let's move it here. Uh, we want to just display our departments, okay, these departments in our rows. So just uh, simply drag this department, drag department to rows after dragging department to rows so see the rows has uh, generated to us uh, according to these departments we have three departments electronic uh, garments and furniture see these three has generated so now we want just to show the um, sum of all values for example how the sum of electronics sum of garments and sum of furniture so further just simply drag the sales to uh, our pivot table to these values come here to sales drag it to the values see we have some of sales um, we have electronics 1600 37 and to 600 so this is the sum of all these values electronic furniture and garments so this was just a basic example that how to create a pivot table and the rows and the columns we didn't create it yet the columns but we have just displayed you the rows and the values so now if you want to remove this uh, department or some of sales so simply you can just right click here also uh, sorry we can change just uh, right click here see after writing uh, click uh, and you can remove some of sales okay you can press this button it will be removed from this uh, pivot table or you can just remove it see that has gone from that so it was just uh, removing a column from pivot table and also if you want to display these electronics these uh, in uh, columns for example rows electronic furniture and then garments so for that simply just uh, move this department to columns see they are on column wise now let's move it here column wise and if you want to just display the sales of them and just bring it here to the values see we have some of sales these are some of sales and grand total this is the grand total of all sales let's remove it back So let's create another example. We want to display the data based on the user. Okay, every person how much sales they have according to these departments. So let's first of all we will just drag these names to rows. 
department to columns and sales to values see we have we have displayed that uh, according to uh, every person how much sales they have okay we have these four users yareep kabir kaleem and salim and according to the electronics arif has um, electronics 306 in 300 and the garment 1200 and the grand total is 707500 like also the kabir and the kaleem and salim these are the sales of them according to every department and this is the grand total of them the grand total of electronics grand total of furniture garments and grid total of all so this is how to display it now let's move to another example so before moving to next example let's first of all i will show you if you think that it don't looks like very well and you want to display these names um, related to these columns so then just simply drag these names to department see it will display it like this or electronics arip kabir kaleem and salim uh, electronics total and also furniture and um, after furniture we have um, the furniture total and garments it will display it like this uh, so now let's move to another example we want to just uh, um, apply filter okay we want to filter our uh, sales according to the uh, department so it means that first we will just display our names in the row and our uh, sum of sales in values and we will apply a filtration on our department so for that uh, let's uh, remove uh, move it drag it back here and department to the filter so now what does this mean it means that we will now filter our data according to this department okay now this is the data these are our names and this is the sum of sales okay arif has this much sale kabir this much kalim this much and salim this much and this is the grand total so now we want just to display the sum of for example electronics so this is the department filtration that we have applied so now let's click here now we have displayed all let's press on electronic and press ok see we have just the sales of electronics we have applied just an electronics we have 6300 for arif this electronics 500 and these are for other just electronics now let's apply this on furniture so this is the um, furniture furniture is just with kabir and salim arif and uh, kalim um, don't have the furniture so this is the filtration that we have applied and if you want just to display the sales according to the province or state okay in which state how much sales we have per electronics per garments and for the furniture so for that let's remove department and we will simply just drag the um, uh, state okay let's drag state to the uh, filter so now let's check okay this is the um, just total of all users but if you want just to display the sales uh, just in this kbl okay this state okay let's press okay see this is the just in kbl this is the uh, sales that we have for arif kabir kaleem and salim and let's display it in another um, li like this uh, state press okay so this is the sales for this uh, khr state okay for the kabir and kaleem we have just for this uh, state we have just kabir and kaleem yeah and Kalim not for other users also we can display on this one okay so that has displayed okay whenever we click here back we will display these fields again okay if you click outside from this pivot table so it will be uh, and just um, remove away it is go away let's display it back and also we can display like this okay let's uh, apply other filters like for example we want to display the products here then the quantity then the names like this okay let's uh, first of all bring our product product to the row so we have product and uh, for the computer are you have this much sale for the mouse and for the paint for the uniform these users have this much uh, sales and if let's uh, um, bring the quantity also so this is the quantity okay computer three for arif okay and mouse five for kalim paint five for kabir uniform five for salim these are the total so let's check it computer mm, just for um, yeah computer is mm, let's check it So we have applied this filter so let's display all okay see 
computer um, three we have three quantities for computer for arib kalim and salim everyone has three and mouse two for arib and kabir and five for kalim paint five for kabir ten for arib and table also like this you can display it like this also you can play with pivot table how how you want to display it so you can display that and you can generate a uh, organized and summarized table for your manager like uh, if it doesn't looks like very well like if this design is not very well so let's come here to the design and just come here to the grand total and now let's display it like this okay uh, let's Crescent mm, grand total mm, oh, um, on layout report layout let's uh, show in outline form see it looks like this now okay organized and very well also we can display like in tabular form like this let's move it back to the compact form this is the compact form that we have displayed so you can play with it okay you can just play with it and uh, you can just uh, design you can for the subtotal how you want to um, display the subtotal show subtotal bottom of the group it will display in the bottom and show a subtotal top of at the top or do not show subtotal it will not show you the subtotal you can play with it okay you can also change the design however design you want so you can apply the design on this so this is the design that you can apply and this it looks like this now so it was all about all of this so now let's remove all these fields and i want to apply I want to just display now um, uh, the data in the percentage okay to display the data as percentage so now let's first of all again we will bring names to the rows and our sales to the values and also department let's display it according to the department filter it the department so now this is our sum of our sales we want to display it in percentage okay in the percentage so to display it as a percentage just right click on it after um, right click just right click after that come here to show value as and come here percent of gain total let's see see it it has displayed as percentage you can also display now the uh, whole data like this let's bring sales again to this area see these are the total sales and these are in the percentage that we have displayed you can display okay twice i have just drag it twice so it is that we have displayed our data in percentage let's carding electronics just these are the electronics percentage and furniture just select the furniture for kabir and for the salim furniture percentage so this is how we display just uh, as the percentage the values uh, now let's uh, move um, to another and the last thing very important that is slicer okay to use the pivot table slicer so we will now um, create examples for that uh, but before uh, slicer i will just display you for example you have empty cells okay like this i will just create example for that here we have we have the products let's drag the products here to the rows and let's remove this and here we will just have departments so this is our data let's display it as uh, values right click on this show value as no calculation so we have these empty fields so let's add border to these let's come here to home add border so we have these empty fields so what to, um, if you want to display something in these empty fields so just come here to the pivot table and just press right click after right click just come here to the pivot table option after pressing this see for empty cells what you want to display let's for example display just zero and press ok see we have just zero in these empty fields if you want to uh, display something else you can display it these were all about uh, um, displaying something in empty uh, fields now we will move to the slicer which is very important and you will daily use the slicer so for the slicer let's remove this department and we want to display our data like this we have these data and now let's uh, move to the um, slicer okay for the slicer just come here to pivot table analyze and here we will just uh, insert slicer see this is insert slicer option pressing this now which field you want to apply it we want to apply it on department and state 
let's press ok so these are two um, state and departments that we have displayed now we will apply it ok for example you want to display the data just according to the uh, electronics see just electronics has displayed to, uh, for us computer and mouse for example furniture we have just table in furniture garments we have paint uniform and for example in Kabul KHR Zabul and these are according to the states that we have see garments in this state in this state and in this state we can apply it on different form let's display it just this state this state and this state so you can apply this is the slicer okay in which for example we use this department we will display the data according to the department and to the state however you want so you can play with it one thing else that is so let's remove these uh, I will just uh, that is to display the data um, the favorite data um, graphically okay to display the data um, in graphical in charts so now we will apply charts on this uh, pivot table okay click on this and just come here to the pivot table and analyze then come here to the pivot charts click on this which charts you want to apply okay which one so let's press this one and these are the charts that you can apply press ok say this is the chart which has generated according to that pivot table these are the data and these are the departments electronic furniture and um, garments and this is the data that we have displayed so you can apply different designs and formats display the, this one this one and if you want you can display that you can change the chart according to your need whatever chart you want to create from this so it was all about creating pivot charts a pivot table in ms excel i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and share the video with the friends and also with share my youtube channel and like this video thanks for watching